pod watch. You got a pod watch. You got a pod watch. Hello everyone, this is Pixie and in today's video I'm gonna show how to install these transitions you just seen on screen and how to apply them in Cerro Vegas Pro. So as always, leave a like before watching and let's begin. Now click the first link down in the description, it should redirect you to this Google Drive and yeah, this is the file you want to download, so download this and once you download it, you should see uh, this and if you don't have Preset Manager 2.0 uh, the file is gonna be you no know, blank, so make sure you got Reset Manager 2.0. I'm gonna be linking a video on how to install that in the description. So make sure you install Preset Manager before doing this. But once you got it installed, you wanna open the file up. Uh, this is what you see, and what you wanna do is click here, then click on this folder and click on Copy to System. It, it will copy the system. Everything should be fine, but another, another way to install it would be to go to the folder. So double click on the folder. And here you can highlight all of the you know, presets and then click on copy to system and everything should be fine. And let's get to Vegas Pro. So before I actually show you how you can apply these transitions, these are the things you need to do first. So you want to go to your project settings, click on the cogwheel up top and you want to copy these settings. So width and height is 2560 by 1440. Make sure they're the same as your render settings. So like your render resolution is 2560 by 1440 and your project resolution must match that so make sure this matches your render resolution or else the transitions might look wacky or whatever not look good and the next thing we have is frame rate so make sure it's 60 now you cannot select 60 but you know just type 60 and it should say 60 uh, then you know disable resample do all of that and then the most important thing is the ruler so copy these settings uh, you can get get you can head on over to video and you can name it whatever you want uh, you can save the template and then you can click apply click ok and the final thing you will do is go to options and make sure quantize to frames is checked over here then you can restart vegas pro and then we can begin with the explanation so here i have four clips ready and i'm gonna show you how to apply the transitions on every clip so here we have the first clips and what you want to do is basically zoom in a bit go to the end over here and then go five frames back so one two three four five with your arrow keys and this is five frames from the end you want to go to effects and you know if you don't know how to apply a preset if it's your first time you will probably see this tab so what you want to do is go to filter packages and here is all of your presets that you have installed so i have made a few folders and if you're wondering how you can make a folder you just right click over here and make new folder but this is the presets and this is where they are so here are all the presets and as you can see it says fast transition down left and a means one so the first clip and b means the second clip and also a as you can see there is a number and that means how many frames before the end or like yeah basically how many frames before the end so we went five frames before the end and as you can see it says five and for something like spin you're gonna go 15 frames before the end so just keep that in mind and you can just check the numbers but let's apply down left so you wanna click add click ok here we have our transition and then you can apply this to b so we can go to effects and we can apply fast transition down left b so click add click ok and everything should be fine as you can see we have our transition just like that and that is basically it and now i'm gonna show you how i applied them so I have this uh, plugin manager window. If you're wondering on how I have this on my screen, I'm gonna put a link in the description explaining this. And what this does is basically allows you to like drag on presets. So I don't have to go to, you know, the effects. I can just drag my presets onto the video and that's really good for transitions. So let's say you wanna apply spin transition on this one. I'm gonna go 15 frames backwards, I cut it and I can just drag my transition preset onto the clip. So this is A, this is B and this is how it looks. And just like that and let's do it to our third clip. This is our third clip, let's go 5 frames back. Let's cut it and let's say we wanna apply top left. I'm gonna apply A on this one and then I'm gonna apply B on this one. Boom, and let's do a final one on this clip. Let's go five frames back. One, two, three, four, five. 
and let's apply down right A on this one and down right B on the other one and here we have the transitions just like so really easy and that was the end of the video so thanks so much for watching if you have any questions leave them down below or join my discord which is a link in the description but anyways this was pixie i'm out <laughs>